Welcome back, 914 right now. So April, did you know this? It is Distracted Driving Awareness Month. And over the next couple of weeks, you might notice more law enforcement on the roads looking for distracted drivers. So joining us right now, State Trooper Robert Ryer to talk a little bit about this. State Trooper, thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So, I mean, when we think of distracted driving, I think 99% of the time we're, we're thinking about a cell phone. But that's not always the case, is it? No. Um, in general, we differentiate between three main types of distractions. We have visual distractions uh, that can cause drivers to take their eyes off the road. Mm -hmm. That could be looking at passengers, street signs, trying to find the lunchbox on the passenger seat, or reading texts, emails, or social media posts on their mobile devices. Um, we have uh, manual distractions where drivers take their hands off the steering wheel. Uh, that could be to adjust the radio, to eat, uh, to open the glove box, to find the utensils uh, to eat, uh, petting the dog in the back seat, or picking up any typing uh, uh, phones or, or other devices. Mm -hmm. um, then we have cognitive distractions uh, that can occur when a driver is no longer focused on the primary task, the driving task uh, itself. Um, that can be a result of uh, being drowsy, of being lost in thought, mm -hmm. or being engaged in any phone conversation by voice or text. And I mean, I, I feel like this is sort of our life these days. We're so distracted at all times by everything. Uh, have you seen uh, on the roads recently even more distracted driving types of accidents? Uh, yeah, uh, according uh, to a study that was published by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, um, the number of collisions uh, resulting from distracted driving has gone up. Um, also, over 3,000 people lost their lives to distracted driving in 2019, which is an increase of about 10% from 2018. Um, even here in Washington, when we are looking at the numbers, uh, about 122 people lost their lives to distracted driving in uh, 2019. That is about 10 people a month. And uh, we also had about 568 serious injury collisions, uh, about 47 people per month that were seriously injured by distracted drivers or because they were driving distracted. And, you know, while you're talking, we're actually showing some video. I mean, it's hard to watch video, but it's people who are obviously getting in some of these distracted driving crashes. And it's tough to watch, but I think it's a good reminder for all of us. I mean, it stinks to get pulled over, but this is to keep us all safe. And you guys are doing these uh, uh, sort of uh, some of this extra enforcement on the roads. And what are those tickets going to cost us if we do get stopped? Well, um, a ticket for uh, driving uh, with a cell phone um, is about $139 uh, for the first uh, infraction and then a subsequent offense. So if a person gets caught again for um, driving while holding a cell phone, that uh, is more than $200. Wow. And you definitely don't want to get stopped in the first place. And thanks for keeping us all safe on the roads. We appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome, ma'am. Well, uh, just uh, another reminder, April, Distracted Driving Month. A trooper, thanks again for joining us, and uh, we'll, we'll be on the lookout for you out on the roads there. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks for having us. Absolutely.